I'm not sure if bro is actually going to go to jail. I have no clue. But if he does, I know it's going to be incredibly hilarious and we're, we'll be here to watch it, okay? I wanna see bro get dragged into court, if need be. Yo, so yesterday we talked about how, how Trump has like a really high likelihood of uh, going to federal prison, or at least he said that he did. Whether or not that's actually going to happen, uh, we're going to figure that out. But what we do know is that conservatives have been coping ever since yesterday about what Donald Trump said, and things have started to like pick up. The more credibility has gone to the assumption that he's going to be arrested or brought in or something in New York. Because um, earlier today, this very day, a very interesting scene was caught outside of Trump Tower and the um, Manhattan District Attorney's Office, the Manhattan's criminal court. And that was the NYPD, an NYPD truck bringing metal girders and metal barriers um, off of their truck and then setting them up around the office. So things are starting to get a little bit serious. He will be put in federal prison soon, inshallah. Soon he will be cooked, inshallah. Oh, I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. Charlie tweeted this. Charlie's not been having a good time. Charlie's been really upset. Charlie, uh, Mr. Kirk has been really upset about all of this going down. Happening now, NYPD is setting up barricades outside of Manhattan criminal court ahead of Trump's arrest. He may be arrested, it's possible. It is very possible. And as you can see, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of reporters and camera guys here, but I'm not seeing many. One thing that you may realize is that you're seeing a lot of like camera guys and reporters and cops here, but you're not seeing a lot of um, oh, what's they're called? Uh, Trump voters or Trump stands. There's not many of those guys here. And that's going to be a reoccurring theme, which is there. People are planning for bad things to happen. But there may not be that many Trump supporters there to actually do anything. Let's take a look. This may be interesting, okay? While that happens, we'll, we'll catch back up with the demonstrations, or lack thereof, outside of Trump Tower in a moment. Um, on Fox News, they've been talking about this a lot. And they've been trying to spin the situation of Trump's like crimes against the uh, government and also... Uh, maybe possibly give their audience a reason to not turn off the channel and change to a more Trump loving channel because they've been off the Trump train for a little while. So they sent out their uh, greatest uh, like a uh, Lego hair attack dog, Jesse Waters and crew to go uh, like do their best to drum up support for Donald Trump not being arrested. It didn't go very well. That they overstepping the bounds. It's almost as if the Democrats want exactly what happened in 2016 to happen again. Crazy. Here, wait one second. Mm -hmm. That they overstepping the bounds. It's almost as if the Democrats want exactly what happened in 2016 to happen again. Yeah. Oh man, overstepping the bounds. As um, wait, let me read this again. Uh, what is that? Ah, uh, yes. Um, committing crimes and being held accountable for crimes. <laughs> uh, for crimes. For crimes. It's almost as if the Democrats want exactly what happened in 2016 to happen again. Yeah, they better not put my president in prison. I don't know. Do they think that he's just going to... I, I don't know what they thought happened in 2016. Yeah, like he won the election, but do they think he won the election because he was... Because he was like a criminal or something? Is that is that why he won the election? Because they didn't like him? I thought he just won the election because... because uh. Hillary Clinton was just a really bad candidate. That's why he won the election. Biden's a better candidate than Hillary, no matter what you think about her. He represents 74 million yeah. Americans. And wow. if he's the nominee, you're putting 74 million votes in prison. I don't think that's how that works. Guys, I, I represent, um, I represent, um, uh, uh, at this point in time, I represent. Uh, oh fuck! Uh, uh, I represent ninety six thousand four hundred and ninety six subscribers on YouTube. Okay, if you put me in jail, you're putting ninety six thousand people in jail. When I go, to, listen. When I win, my subscribers win. 
when I lose, my subscribers lose. When I get put in jail for federal crimes, my subscribers get put in jail for federal crimes. What are you talking about? If you didn't want to go to jail, then just don't. Don't commit crimes. It's, it's honestly not that I've been able to dodge it for at least like 24 years so far. We're in this together. Yeah, what are you going to do? Put all 100,000 of us in jail? You won't. And that's how I see it. Really? What? You're telling me America? What? Is America like the, um, uh, the most, uh, the, the, the country with the largest uh, incarceration uh, population in the world or something? Huh. What are you going to do? What? It, it, what? Do we have like 25% of the entire world's imprisoned population or something? Huh. What are you going to do? Throw us all in jail? You can't. Really? On a bookkeeping charge. He put a payment to a woman in the legal column. That was in the wrong column? Hillary put the dossier in the same column and she got- Hillary Clinton! Her emails! Also, what he, you know what he's talking about? Um, tax fraud. It's a little thing. It's called, um, uh, tax fraud. Hey, what are you gonna do, IRS? Throw me in jail? Hey, I put the- I, uh, sure, I put the one thing in the other column and then I said that it didn't exist when it did. It's just like a- it, it's, it's- it's- it's a booking error. It's a booking out uh, one. Yeah, sure. I said that this thing happened that literally didn't. It's it's a booking error. What are you talking about? Sure. What? Why? Come on. Come on. You got a fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, th th come on. Just a, just a couple of tax crimes as a treat. Just a little bit of smidgen as a taste. Come on. Let me let me go. Let me do a couple more, please. I'm just a little guy. Come on, please. <laughs> Uh, that wasn't enough for Jesse, so he decided to go on again later that day and have his own little mini smegment uh, where he talked about the same issue. Alvin Bragg's bringing to the table. There's no proof Trump slept with Stormy. There's no baby. And Trump didn't use campaign funds. Al uh, listen, there's no, honestly, there's no proof that I've had sex either. All the, all the stories that I've told you guys, um, well, I don't want to say all the stories, as in there's a lot of them. Like, the two stories that I've told you guys, I didn't impregnate it. I mean, so far, I haven't impregnated a single, a singular female. I, I have not dumped in a single girl's womb in my 24 years on planet Earth, okay? So, honestly, there's no proof that I've ever had sex before, if you gotta be honest. If if you don't impregnate somebody, there's literally no if honestly, if they if you abort the baby, there's no uh, if you abort the the uh, the fetal, there's no proof that the sex happened at all. It's almost like it was it's invisible sex. Basically, it was sex in, in the other dimension. Where's the baby shark? Exactly. Exactly. There's only there's only me. There's only shark. There is no baby shark. There is no mama shark. I hope you haven't. Why? You think I'd be a bad dad or something? I think I'd be a good dad. I think I'd be a good, I think I'd be a good, um, child father. I, I think I'd do, I think I'd do well. Like, what do you do? You clean, like, the poop from their butthole? And you, um, I don't know, feed them small pieces? You feed them spoonfuls of, like, uh, wet food? And you keep them from, like, putting forks into the outlet? Like, honestly, isn't that, it's easy enough, if I'm gonna be honest with you. Do you really wanna be that one? I'm already a father, a dog father. They're, they're my babies. Baby. Baby. It's an example of why we need sex ed. Honestly, huge example of why we need sex ed. We need it a lot. We need it real bad. <laughs> oh, man. Also, uh, bro, have you ever heard of an, um, an STD? That's also one. Or I guess you could just be like scraping your genitals across every public toilet seat that you, that you can find. You could do that, I, I guess, if you want. I wouldn't recommend it, but you know, it could happen. I'm not gonna say it can't. Uh, Tucker wanted in on the Tucker, Tucker wanted in on the action too. Look at this. If the Democratic Party is allowed to do this, allowed to crush the presidential front runner, the main threat to their power, with a bogus criminal case, where does that leave us? We're done, because that president will live forever, and voters will never again determine the outcome of a presidential election. It's remarkable when you think about it. Yeah, it's almost like you're lying. Just don't commit crimes. Don't do it. Another thing that these guys have been doing is they keep going on and they're like, if, 
if 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 Democrats do this to our guy, then we should do do this to to, to their guy. I think like um, I think Michael Knowles tried to say this recently, where he was like, "What we need to do is uh have the Democrat. We need GOP governors to um fake charges against Democrats, so we can arrest them too." So just like how they want to arrest Donald Trump for the real crimes, we should have them make fake crimes so they could go to jail. So they know how it feels. Look at this. What should the Republicans do in response? I think that a Republican governor, or more precisely, I guess, a Republican attorney general, should arrest a prominent criminal lib. There is no shortage of candidates of prominent liberal politicos who have committed crimes. Look around the Clinton circles, look around the Biden circles, look at Clinton and Biden themselves. Plenty of big criminal libs out there who have completely gotten off the hook, and there are plenty of Republican governors and attorneys general out there. I think you would need a Republican governor as well as an attorney general, because if the attorney general uh, indicts a big prominent criminal lib, and, and there's a Democrat governor, the Democrat governor will apply political pressure or eventually probably just pardon the criminal lib. So I think you, you need to have a Republican governor there as well. But let's- This is a crime. This is a crime. Jail. If you try this, you will go to jail. Exactly where you belong. What are you talking about? What, didn't, they, didn't they spend years investigating Hillary Clinton? Whatever happened to lock her up? Nobody was able to lock her up. Not a single person. Donald, Donald Trump's DOJ wasn't even able to file a case against her or anything. What happened? They spent years, tens of hours of testimony, hundreds of hours of, mon uh, 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 of investigations, millions of dollars in, in funding. But you weren't able to put her in jail, but now you think you can put her in jail or someone in, now you can lock her up? Oh, you were just waiting for it? You were just waiting for the right moment. We were waiting for our moment to strike and then we were going to take her out. Really? Or is it just that? And I'm not, I'm not saying that there aren't like liberals out there who have committed crimes. I mean, there, there probably are. Yeah. But the idea that you'd be able to just find one, just, just make up. You know what this is? You know what this exactly sounds like? When Donald Trump was calling to Brad Raffensperger back during the 2020 election, and he was like, listen, come on, all I need you to do is find me 11,000 votes. Just give me 11,000 votes. Hey, man, listen, all I need you to do is lock up all my political opponents on trumped up charges for my own personal gain. That, that's all I'm saying. Trump literally committed crimes. I'm not against any like Democrats going like going to jail for any crimes. If they committed, I'm not a, I'm not a Democrat. I'm not Democrat cocksucker five, five, four. That's not my, um, that's not my username on, um, any social media accounts, but like <laughs> at, at the end of the day, like Republicans just simply commit more crimes than Democrats do. If you ever want to look at the list of like, uh, convicted, uh, child predators from, from the Republic who were like serving in a uh, public office. Most of them are Republicans. We have a list that was going to go over it at some point in time for like conservative family values episode two, where we go over the 800 and counting the convicted sitting Republican politicians who have like been accused of and convicted of abusing children physically or sexually. It's, it's pretty bad if I'm going to be honest with you. And it's a massive pandemic. And he's not even being, he's not even being arrested for anything like that. It's just the, normie white collar tax crimes that he may be being arrested for and they he couldn't even stand that it's crazy if you didn't want to go to jail then just don't commit crimes that put you in jail that's that's just that's just me personally i just think you should pick yourself up by your bootstraps and um do not commit crimes with them that's just me though but outside of all of this absolute cope cringe we took a little vacation and cope cringe now it's time to take a little vacation back to new york to go take a look at the massive, huge, massive rally, the absolutely destructive, wild, mind-blowing, earth-shattering, country-stopping, time-changing, saddest rally I've ever seen in my entire life.
Listen, this shit is so bad. She has to blow the damn uh horn uh, uh, like a horn to, to call hopefully call it's down the real. fucking Valkyries to help them protest because nobody who they wanted to come came. It's like four of them. <laughs> They have to call on the help of Valhalla to hopefully protest with them. They would they need some extra people. It's so sad. <laughs> Hold the gate. <laughs> Holy shit. It's pretty it's it's bad. It's not good. Oh man, look at this crazy, crazy protest going on. Thank you. Yeah, one more time. Blow the horn. They, they couldn't even get their chant right. Wait. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he, he won. He won. Powered by TPUSA. No, TPUSA isn't here. They're like planning for another seven um, Arizona elections to lose. <laughs> They're super busy right now. You don't get it. It's so bad, in fact, that it's so bad, in fact, that there are more that there are more reporters and journalists there than actual protesters at the at the at the rally. It's <laughs> there are more people documenting the, the protest than people who are at the protest, which honestly, look, there's even somebody here just trying to do their <laughs> do their homework. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> it's it's so sad. Was that a Trump Asian Santa? Maybe. Maybe. Also, I mean they, they also wrote some songs, so that's cute. Hey, fuck you, Chris. This is a song called Fuck Chris. Fuck Chris. Fuck it, fuck, 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 fuck Chris. That's cashy. Thanks. Go ahead. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, Yo, you think that should be uh you think that should be a subscriber sound? That is my name as well. When you all are tired of me, you can just say fuck Chris. That's wild. Who's Chris? Christopher uh, Matthias. He's a reporter for the Huffington Post. He's he's a journo. Bars, bars. Hey, fuck you, Chris. This is a song called. Hey, yo, fuck, fuck you, Chris. Chris. Fuck Chris. Fuck it, fuck, 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 fuck Chris. That's catchy. Thanks. Go ahead. That's catchy. Thanks. I like this. I'm saving this one. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> Uh, Hang Fauci. I hate that guy. What, what was he doing? Trying to like keep me from g giving my grandma a disease that'll kill her. I hate that guy. Boo, boo. How cringe. How cringe. How could he do such a thing? Also, RSBN, uh, the network that had literal Nick Fuentes as a contributor for a little while, was also there at the protest. So, I mean, what's your take on it so far? I mean, there's a lot of people out here. Yeah, it seems like there there's a lot. There's a lot of people out here. There's a lot of media. Um, I would say just it's basically all media. And I guess there's uh, Bra is it Braxton yeah. Braxton. And then I see another guy with the flat. It seems like there's about 10 Trump supporters here, but mostly the rest <laughs> are, are media. Yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> uh, dude, they should they should have they could have just stayed home. They could have just stayed home if that was what was going on. If that's the case, I'd I'd I came all the way out there just for this. Just to, it, it it's like a sausage party, man. It's like it's like a you try. It's like a you get some confidence. You want to go to like a college party at the school you're going to. They said show up. You're gonna be they they're, they're like show up. There's gonna be a lot of babes. You go there and it's just all dudes. You're like what the hell. So here's a picture of what it looks like right outside the um, Trump Tower where the protest should be being held. You got like what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What? There's 10 flags there. There's like 10 flags there in front of it. And, that, and that's it. They're not even protesting. They're just kind of standing around. <laughs> is that what a protest is? When you when all of you guys uh, from your Facebook, from your private Facebook group, after you get done talking about how many um, Democrats you'd like to hang, uh, you all show up and just, just kind of stand around in like 50 degree weather until it's time to go home. Is that is that is that how that works? Everything woke turns it. Dude, go. F Yo, listen, go fast, become ass.
How sad. How sad. They're trying their best to pull it together. They were able to put, pull it together enough people to do like a little bit of processing on St. Patty's Day. One of the reasons I came out here is because normally at most parades, it's always, I hate Donald Trump, I hate Donald Trump parade. But this particular parade with the firefighters and the police, they love Donald Trump. They love him. So it's kind of nice to be out here with friendly people in New York City, which is very rare. So we're just having a good time with all our fellow Irishmen, Italians, firefighters, and NYPD. Why do you say it like that? Firefighters, Italians. <laughs> uh, very rare, very rare indeed. So true. Italians. Boom. Crazy. Man, that's like. There's like none of them. Look, dude, there's dozens of us. Look at this. What is that like one? Is that two lines? What the, the lines is like one, maybe two people thick? Really? Is that it? Is that all the people that showed up? That girl's on her phone. Are these people really Irish? Where the fuck do all these Irish people come from? Don't you think it's crazy how like everybody's vibing and then on St. Patty's Day, just like Irish people just come crawling from the woodwork? Ireland? Are these Irish people actually from Ireland? They're just spawned in there? They all have like 10% Irish in them, base and epic. Can't you tell they're people of color? Green. Honestly, true. True. I'm glad finally somebody decided to say it. They come from Ireland. Crazy. Crazy stuff. But it seems like even after St. Patty's Day, everything just kind of sputtered out because the protest was so bad and there were so few people actually there that they've started to do something incredibly diabolical. So I want, I want to show you something, okay? I want to show you something. This tweet right here. Trump supporters have shut down Fifth Avenue right outside Trump Tower. And he tweeted this recently. He said that this is what it looks like right now in New York City. Donald Trump supporters are here in their F-150s to come to take down the, lib the liberal government and the, 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 the liberal liberalize against their president, who they know is innocent and based and red-pilled. Okay, they even got the whole damn bus. They got the whole bus out there. So honestly, I was lying to you guys this entire time. This is what it really looked like. Donald Trump resurgence is here. The Trump supporters are out in force. There's more of them than there ever has been before. Um, many people say that Donald Trump had the most amount of votes that any president has ever gotten in the history of America. Except for Joe Biden. But this time it's going to be different. Nothing can stand in his way. Even facts. This clip was not from today. This clip was from October 4th, 2020. A demonstration prior to the 2020 U.S. presidential election. The NYPD is preparing possible protests for the coming week. Oof. Wait a second. Wait, wait. So you're telling me that. Wait, wait. So you're telling me that this wasn't from from here. This you're, you're telling me this. That this was from October 4th, 2020? When this happened? And not like literally today? Huh? What? Oh no! <laughs> You're telling me Trump hasn't been able to pull this type of support in three years? Oh no, what happened? You guys have really had to stoop down to simply lying for anybody to, for anybody to care about things that, the, the things that you say? That's so sad. That's so sad. Couldn't be me. Do you think, what do you think happened to all those Trump supporters? Do you think they got, um, they got shut down by, um, evil Joe Biden? Do you think he hit them with the Biden blast? Think that's it? Think that's it? Yeah, Trump, yeah, the Trump train, listen, Trump maybe shouldn't have, uh, deregulated that much because the Trump train has derailed in a small town in Ohio 
and its chemical stupidity is leaking into the local environment. <laughs> It is it it is not safe for humans to be there anymore. Everybody has to be evacuated. It's not looking good. Biden blast. And honestly, they're starting to get a bit desperate. They're starting to get a little bit desperate over on Fox News because of because of what happened, how like poor the reception for everything has been today. This was paid not with campaign funds, but with personal funds. Right. If President Trump thought this was a campaign um a violation, um, certainly, or something that would fall within the purview of a campaign, it would have been paid with campaign funds. Second, this was paid. Oh, uh, yes, that big brain thinker here. Paid not with campaign funds, but with personal funds. Right. If President Trump thought this was a campaign um, a violation, um, certainly, or something that would fall within the purview of a campaign, it would have been paid with campaign funds. Second, guys. This wasn't paid with campaign funds because he didn't think it was for the campaign. But if he did think it would be for the campaign, then yeah, it'd be would it would have been paid with campaign funds. Mm. The one of the big problems is that Donald Trump has been seen recently, theorized, many people have said, to be out in the open misusing campaign funds, which is, let me remind you, a crime. You can't run for public office and then take money from people who want you to be in public office and then just use the money that they gave you for things not related to running for public office. You can't do that. You can take your personal money and put it towards running for office, but you can't take your running from office money and use it for personal things. You can't do that. That's that's what we call stealing. That's stealing from people. And Honestly, it seems like Donald Trump's campaigns have been taking a lot of money from people and a lot of people don't know where a lot of that money is gone. And so this is another big crux to the investigation going on to him is like what he's been doing. What has he been doing with those campaign funds? Because it seems like the answer is nothing good. And one of those could be paying off women to not say anything bad about him uh, with the funds that people have been using. That they've been giving him to think that he's going to be using them to run for office. You can't do that. This wouldn't hold up in court. You'd be in jail. You'd be in jail, but they're trying their best. Even the false records case is very weak. There are thousands of non disclosure agreements every year. Do you think anyone has ever told the truth about the payment? Can you imagine the. Huh? Wait, so his argument now that Donald Trump for why Donald Trump shouldn't go to jail is because everybody lies like he does. Listen, we're all committing crimes. So why put him in jail? Come on, guys, you can't do that, man. This is this is desperate. <laughs> uh, this is desperate, man. What the hell? What in the world? He's a huge fraud. Maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe he wants Donald Trump to go to jail. Possibly. Harvard law professor? Bro, you're a, you work at Harvard and you're coming up with takes like this? It's true. Conservatism rots the mind, brother. And elite schools. Record saying we paid $130,000 to a porn star to buy her silence about an adulterous affair with our CEO. Uh, what he said it was legal and, you know, it was a settlement of a case. So they, even the false Guys, the case is settled. Sure, he lied, but like everybody else does. So don't put him in jail. I like him. Haha, <laughs> please. Come on. You can't, you can't put him in jail. He's so cute. Haha. <laughs> Dude, the desperation in this is, is quite palpable. It's quite delicious. I'm not sure if bro is actually going to go to jail. I have no clue. But if he does, I know it's going to be incredibly hilarious. And we're, we'll be here to watch it, okay? I want to see bro get dragged into court if need be. And at the end of the day, while, while it's all happening and while the conservatives are molding and crying and cringing and hoping to go shoot some random people on the street who don't vote the same way they do because a uh, Donald Trump must be the God King emperor of the world. And there's nothing that anybody can say to change that they're, they're just simply losers. What, what else can I say? That's all they are. And if this isn't proof of it, I don't know what is, what else is okay. It seems like every time a, a, a conservative event is being held, the crowds diminish and diminish and diminish. Now, typically I wouldn't use crowd size to actually show how political support is going on 
But when it comes to Republicans, that like crowd size and the things and like having a bunch of people out is actually really important for them in the sense of how they activate their their constituency. They killed off a lot of their constituency during the pandemic uh, by telling them that the vaccines were going to turn them into an iguana. And then after they did that, they tried to bring it all back by forgetting all important things in the country and now worrying about like what type of genitals the person who it who, uh, who goes to the bathroom, the same bathroom as you has. Like, of course, nobody cares. The red wave, it turned into a red trickle. And now the red trickle may dry up too, dry up in the uh, global warming that they said isn't existing. So I don't know, man. You did it to yourself. I, I love that, they're, that their lives are falling apart. It makes the, uh, the world a better place. You love to see it. Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. If you're enjoying the content, hit the subscribe button. If you don't, it'll make Boo very sad. I know a bunch of you who are watching are not subscribed. Join the frenzy. You won't regret it. <laughs> Thank you, Boo.